Hello, now welcome to our pickup challenge today. With us here are six of the best beasts that have taken up the challenge of outsmarting the toughest terrains not only on the toughest parts of this world but also on the roughest and smoothest East African roads. On our selection for today are the Nissan Navara, the Mitsubishi L200, the Ford Ranger, the Volkswagen Amarok, the Isuzu D-Max and of course the Toyota Hilux. Now among the several factors that we are going to be comparing are the vehicle's abilities for off-roading. We will also be comparing the speeds of these vehicles. Hopefully we will also compare the power to determine which are the most powerful pickups. We will also be determining the easiest car to drive on either the manual or the automatic transmissions. Now when it comes to price we will be determining the most expensive vehicle to not only buy but also maintain and service frequently. We will also be looking into the fuel efficiency of these vehicles to determine which are the most fuel efficient and which are not. Now we will be diving under the bonnets of these vehicles to determine the amount of horsepower and the torque that is being produced by these engines. Thank you and welcome as we introduce the first car on our list today. We have the Ford Ranger. Now the most common engine specs that you're likely to find under the bonnet of the Ford Ranger are the 2.2 liter and the 3.2 liter engines that are linked to a 6 speed manual or an automatic transmission. The 3.5 liter engine is linked to a 10 speed automatic transmission. So the 3.5 liter engine is definitely more powerful but also consumes more in terms of fuel. The 2.2 liter however is the most fuel efficient engine among all the mid-size pickups. For the speed of 0 to 100 it takes the Ford Ranger about 11 to 13 seconds. Here are the prices for the Ford Ranger. Now after the Ford Ranger we have the Toyota Hilux. Underneath the bonnet of the Toyota Hilux expect to find a very powerful but quiet 2.4 liter or 2.8 liter engine. The 2.8 liter engine is of course more powerful but however it also consumes more in terms of fuel. The engine is connected to a 6 speed manual or an automatic transmission but the automatic transmission is more powerful with of course 50 more newton meters of torque. So when it comes to speed. Hilux is an excellent off-roader while still able to offer a comfortable ride. The maintenance and repair costs are averagely priced as Toyota has been available in the region for many years and has qualified mechanics. However, be sure to part with a massive amount of money if you fail to service your car when you're supposed to. So if you look for a dream or hope to buy yourself a Toyota Hilux, you can pause for the prices. Now from the Toyota Hilux, let us dive straight to the all new Isuzu D-Max. Under the hood of the Isuzu D-Max is a 2.5 litre turbocharged engine that is linked to a 5 speed manual or a 6 speed automatic gearbox. A 3 litre engine is also available with 2500cc and producing an additional 177 horsepower from the 163 horsepower. A litre of fuel in the Isuzu D-Max is likely to drive you for a distance of 14 kilometers. However, the fuel tank capacity of 76 liters is quite low compared to the 80 liters of the Ford Ranger and the Toyota Hilux. The D-Max is also a car that is a bit expensive to maintain and hence you don't want to fail to service your car when you're supposed to because luckily Isuzu has been in the region for quite some time and has qualified mechanics. For the speed of 0 to 100, it takes the D-Max about 10 to 11 seconds. Aside from the high costs, Isuzu provides an improved driving experience and has average fuel consumption that is still better than other mid-size pickups. Now next comes the prices of the Isuzu D-Max.
Now next I'll be introducing the Nissan Navara. Now referred to many people as the NP300 among other many titles. Diving under the hood of the Nissan Navara, expect to find a 2.3 liter turbocharged diesel engine producing 163 horsepower. The engine is linked to a 5 or a 6 speed automatic or manual transmission. The 2300cc diesel engine consumes a liter of fuel in 12 kilometers, but the single cab is more impressive with a liter of fuel lasting for 14 kilometers. For the speed of 0 to 100 km per hour, it takes the Navara about 11 seconds. If you're looking forward, dreaming or hoping to buy or import one to Kenya, you can expect the following prices. Allow me to jump straight to the Volkswagen Amarok. Now under the hood you can expect to find a 2 liter single turbo petrol engine or a 2 liter bi turbo diesel engine and also a 3 liter V6 diesel engine. This pickup is also quite fast with a speed of 0 to 100 km per hour in 9.8 seconds for the double cab and 10 seconds for the single cab. Now let me mention before I forget that the Amarox engine is linked to a 6-speed manual transmission or an 8-speed automatic transmission. The Amarok is an excellent off-roader and is easy to drive even on tough terrains due to the powerful traction control and it is an all-wheel drive vehicle with a good ground clearance. Overall the Amarok was the best in performance only being crushed by the Mercedes X-Class which was the most priciest. The 580 Ultimate is the most powerful and expensive Amarok. Now lastly to finish off our list today is the Mitsubishi L200 also known as the Mitsubishi Triton. Now the Mitsubishi L200 offers a 2.2 liter engine or a 2.5 liter 4 cylinder diesel engine. The engines are linked to a 6 speed automatic transmission or the 5 speed manual transmission which is more fuel economical. The L200 is a bit sluggish in acceleration, reaching speeds of no 200 km per hour in about 12 to 14 seconds. On a better note however, the Mitsubishi offers a smooth gear change and even feels like a small car and not a pickup. The fuel consumption is excellent and the Mitsubishi offers a great off-road experience while still balancing this with an excellent safety and entertainment feature. <laughs> The L200 is designed for heavy loads and can tow up to 3.5 tons. 